Breaking news out of Denver, Colorado, where police say they are right now searching for a student who opened fire at a high school. Denver police report two staff members were wounded in this shooting at East High School. One is listed as serious but stable condition. We're told the other is in critical condition and in surgery right now. ABC's Alex Stone joins us now from our Los Angeles bureau, along with our contributor, retired NYPD chief of detectives, Robert Boyce. Alex, uh, uh, tell us what's going on. Police say the suspect was a student at this school. What else are you learning about him? That's right, Terry. They're looking for him right now. Police say they know who he is. This is a student who was apparently under a plan that they had in place where they searched him every day for weapons. Well, today when they went and looked for weapons, he was in a secluded area away from other students. Two faculty members were with him and police say he pulled out a gun, shot those faculty members and then ran away. The faculty members, they were injured, seriously injured, we understand from uh, Denver General Hospital, Denver Health. Uh, they are getting treatment right now, one in surgery, the other awake and talking. You can see from these images all the parents that came out looking for word on what was going on in the school, if their students were safe. All students are safe, but police say that this was a student they had been searching every day for quite a while. Today he brought a gun and opened fire. Okay, which begs the question, and Bob, let me take it to you, there was a plan in place to search this student every day. I mean, this, seemed, this seems crazy. It's like they knew this was a problem, so he had to be searched. Why, why let him come to school? Uh, clearly, there's something going on here that hasn't been explained further. This is from a state that knows, knows, knows um, there's no stranger to this kind of violence. Look at Aurora. Uh, Columbine, um, you name it, uh, Boulder, Colorado. We, we see these things all the time coming out of Colorado. This was a plan. He was searched. He had to have been known he was going to be searched. So we're, we're going to figure out why he did it on this, on this specific day. And then took off. So it's a big issue. He has a big manhunt for this young young male right now. And, uh, and all resources are going in that direction. Hopefully it ends uh, peaceably and with no problems to anyone else. Absolutely. A Alex, what, what else can you tell us about... Uh, I guess there was a school shooting at this school just last month. Students were rallying for the return of school resource officers who were removed in 2020. Uh, tell us about this school and about that situation. Yeah, and to the point of just a moment ago, Terry, of what they're doing right now, we know that they are executing a search warrant right now at the home of, of this young man. Uh, there is a bearcat outside of that home as we speak, uh, an armored vehicle where they are either about to go in or have gone in, figure out, is he hiding there? They know where he lives. They know who this student is, that they had a lot of contact with him. The other shooting, that was a couple of weeks ago in February, and students say that, that they want school resource officers. They were removed from Denver campuses in 2020. It was near the campus, 16-year-old boy who was injured in that one, uh, but, but students say they want more. Mm. So, Alex, what else do we know about the two faculty members that were injured, their condition, who they were? Were these the ones that were supposed to pat him down? You're right. Uh, that these were the two who were patting him down, who were searching him uh, in that moment. There was no school resource officer on campus, Denver police. The chief today saying, we don't have any of those. The, the school district uh, took them out of schools. Similar to what we heard last week in Santa Rosa, California, Northern California, where there was a stabbing on campus, no school resource officer calls there to bring them back as well. Uh, the, the two staff members, we understand they are seriously injured. One went into surgery, uh, mentioned the other uh, awake and talking. They were deans at the school, but beyond that, we don't know much more. And Bob, I'm just wondering about the other tools that that community might have in other communities. Look, school discipline became a very bad word for a long time, for, for a good reason. People discovered it, it was, uh, it was disclosed. It became evident that it was racially uh, imbalanced and things like that. But things like suspensions, expulsions, uh, segregate, you know, keeping kids separate uh, for detention, what we used to call detention. Those are tools. Do you think, or am I barking up the wrong tree here, that, that the dilution of the school's ability to discipline students is a safety issue? 
Perry, that plays into it. You're 100 percent right. I couldn't agree more. Not only that, they've re in many states, they've taken the police department out of control of the school resource offices, which I believe is, a, is an issue. It's is a problem. So you want someone highly trained in there who knows how to communicate well and can see and talk to other students to see what's going on. Clearly, it looks like he's a recent transfer. He's not feeling like he belongs there. He has behavioral issues. This is just a recipe for disaster. And the school uh, resource officers should have been there. The students were asking for it. That's unusual right there. You look at Oxford, Michigan with uh, Ethan Crumley uh, just two years ago, uh, seven dead. I mean, these, these things have to, we have to come put pe people in place where we can prevent this. And it's a shame mm -hmm. that this had to happen. These been, they men were shot, obviously, one's critical, let's all well, pray for him. But now the, they're on the manhunt. At some point, they're gonna take that door if they don't get dialogue. They have a bear cat out there now, so it looks like they're marshalling resources to do that, to see if he's in there, to see if he's still alive, see if he's okay. So at some point, they're gonna take that door and find out exactly what's going on. And Alex, do we know if this same young man, I, I, I missed this, if he was involved in the other shooting that happened at that school? And then my other question is the students, how did they, I'm assuming law enforcement got everyone else out safely, got them to a safe spot, parents came and picked them up? They did. Uh, no indication that, that this student was related to what went on a couple of weeks ago. That was near the, the school. 16-year-old student in that case was killed. Uh, and okay. it, there, there have been these calls for changes to be made. To your other point, they were in their third period classrooms. They locked everybody down. About 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, they began getting students out. They are now reuniting with their parents. You see in these images here, those were worried parents who were outside. They were waiting. They wanted to know something. They are reuniting right now. All right, Alex Stone, let us know if you get any new details on that suspect as police are just outside his home there and if they are able to apprehend him. Keep us updated. Bob, always a pleasure to have you. Thank you both. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.